Hello, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for viewing my videos today. I'm visiting the beautiful and spectacular country of Greece and I'm visiting one of the most historic and by far one of the most cosmopolitan islands of Greece. I'm at the island of Naxos. What you see behind me is the 6th century before Christ built Temple of Apollo here at the Acropolis of Naxos. So let's go for a visit. Let's admire the architecture of this magnificent temple that has greeted visitors for over 26 centuries. This is Vic, all the way from Naxos in the Cyclades or Kiklades area of Greece. Let's go for a wonderful tour. Come on. Unfortunately, we are going to have to videotape this documentary on a very windy day, so I apologize for the noise picked up by the microphone from the wind. In any case, you can see the beautiful Temple of Apollo right in the middle of that very small island which is connected to the main island of Naxos via this causeway that you see here. The causeway is about 100 meters in length and there used to be a causeway here always connecting that small island to the main island of Naxos. So let's take the causeway, let's go up the hill and let's visit this remarkable, spectacular and a very historic site. Come on. So let's go up the steps and let's go visit this ancient monument here in Naxos. We're gonna go to the center of this small island. And that's about 200 meters away. Let's go. And uh, here's our first view the magnificent temple of Apollo here in Naxos. You can get an idea of how huge this temple once was back in the 6th century before Christ. But looking at the foundation of the temple right here in front of me, That was the main gate to the temple. It is about eight meters in width and 12 meters in height. And it has greeted visitors to the island of Naxos for 26 centuries. You can see it during the day when the sun hits the beautiful marble you can see it from far away. You can see from the island of Paros. And at night it is beautifully lit with floodlights. And it looks absolutely spectacular. Now here's the rest of the temple here. There's not much remaining but ruins. Unfortunately, nobody has bothered to reconstruct the temple to put together all these blocks of marble to give the visitor an idea what the temple used to look like at one time. And that is one of my biggest complaints, complaints about Greece. The ruins are left to be ruins forever and ever. Very rarely the Greeks would bother to reconstruct an ancient site at its original size, shape, and design. Now, this marble that you see here is local marble, one of the best white marbles you can see and you can find in the whole of Greece. Marble from the site of Apollonas in the northern tip of the island of Naxos. huge blocks that just scatter all over the place. Let's go a little closer. And here's another view 
of this absolutely magnificent world famous monument here in Naxos and the closer that you get the more majestic and mysterious it becomes the width by the way of the vertical columns that you see is about two and a half meters and the two vertical columns about 10 meters in height, 12 combined with the horizontal top piece on top are absolutely huge blocks and they must weigh probably about 60 tons each. So they had to be carved, brought here and placed on site in a vertical position. How do they do that? How do they place the horizontal piece on top, which is probably about 40 tons in weight? Now keep in mind that was the 5th, I'm sorry, the 6th century before Christ. Now any temple built in an Acropolis site in ancient Greece, it would be built on a very prominent location so that it could be seen from far away. And this temple, the Temple of Apollo, was built right on the top of a small island that was most definitely connected to the main island of Naxos via a causeway that you just saw. But why was this location so prominent? So let's go up over here and just look around. In the far distance, the island of Paros. So this side could be seen from the island of Paros. That's the island of Naxos. But more importantly, that is Hora, that is the capital of Naxos. So this was by far the most prominent location for the building of an Acropolis and of a temple. Now if I was to estimate the length of the temple from the gate all the way to the back, it would have been about 35 meters of pure Apollonian marble. Unfortunately, we cannot go on the platform, otherwise I would have shown you the site of the round columns. Actually, we can see two remaining parts of the columns. Let's go a little closer. Right here, you can see a round part in the middle of the frame, and that's about two meters in diameter. So you can imagine the magnificent columns that would have been here at one time. And uh, here's another view from a different angle. And we can see the port of Naxos right there uh, in the distance. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> and uh, as promised, here's a view of this beautiful ancient temple at sunset time the sun is setting right behind me actually it will be setting in in just a couple of minutes but I wanted to show you a view of the temple just before sunset this is the most popular place to come to and uh, view the sunset you can see the crowds all around you can hear the noise and the excitement but in any case here's a frontal view of the entrance to the temple this is Vic thank you for joining me in this very brief tour of this magnificent site here in the island of Naxos time to move on to Hora the main town here in Naxos and videotape the Venetian castle or Castro this is Vic all the way from Naxos in Greece bye bye